our democracy came dangerously close to catastrophe. The select committee investigating the Capitol attack said the events of January 6 were the culmination of a failed legal scheme to convince former Vice President Mike Pence to overturn the 2020 election. It was illegal and unconstitutional. The panel says it originated with a fringe theory promoted by conservative attorney John Eastman, suggesting the vice president had the power to reject electors and declare Trump the winner. I know for a fact I heard both say that his theory was crazy. I said, are you out of your effing mind? This is constitutional mischief. Despite repeatedly being told it wasn't possible, the committee says the former president continued to push the idea despite Pence's objections, resulting in an angry phone call on the morning of January 6th. You'll be a wimp. Wimp is the word I remember. The conversation was was pretty heated. I hope Mike is going to do the right thing. Once the Capitol was breached. White House aides say the former president was notified but continued to tweet. Mike Pence didn't have the courage to do what should have been done. It felt like he was pouring gasoline on the fire. Mike Pence has betrayed the United States of America! The committee says that tweet put Pence's life in danger and revealed new photos of the underground location in the Capitol where he was evacuated. That's all there was. 40 feet between the vice president and the mob. I don't think I was aware that they were as close as that. Even after the riot, when Pence returned to certify the election results, his advisor said he got another call from Eastman urging him not to. That was certifiably crazy. The committee says Eastman emailed Rudy Giuliani asking to be considered for a pardon. And when deposed by the panel this past December, Eastman took the fifth more than 100 times. I assert my Fifth Amendment right against uh, being compelled to be a witness against myself. Fifth. Fifth.